What's up everyone, I'm Leo, and today I'm going to show you how I build an automated content creation pipeline using N8N and a simple AI agent. It can grab content from any RSS feed, summarizes it using GPT-4, and drops it in a Google Sheet. If you want to run a newsletter, a news channel, or just want to stay up to date with everything, this is the way. So here's the live workflow. It starts with a schedule trigger. That means I don't even have to touch it. Every couple of hours, it checks the RSS feed for new content. Then we got the RSS read node, which pulls the latest articles, blog posts, news, YouTube uploads, whatever you feed it. That goes into a small code node where I clean or format the data before handing it off to the brains of the operation. And finally, the output, a structured summarized version ready for a post format, in my case, gets saved into Google Sheets, ready for review or posting. Now I'm starting a school community, guys, where I'll be posting all my automation workflows and you can have direct access to ask me any question you want and I'll try to help you out. I'll be posting this workflow on there along with the documentation and prompts. So feel free to just grab it from there if you are part of the community. If not, I'll be going through how you can get this up and running. So let's dig in. Step one, manual trigger. We're starting with a manual trigger. This is great for testing or when you want full control over when the workflow runs. Later on, you can swap this out for a schedule or webhook, but for now, we're keeping it simple. Next, we're pulling in content using the RSS read node. For this example, we're gonna use rss.app as our feed source. Head over to the explore page on rss.app. You'll see a bunch of topics you can choose from. You can enter any keyword or just browse the categories. We're gonna go into explore, small business, then click on save to my feeds. Once it's saved, copy the RSS URL from the feed. Now let's hop back into N8N and add an RSS read note. Paste that URL into the input. By default, this will pull the last 50 items from the feed, which is good enough for us for now. You can always tweak the limit later if you wanna pull fewer items, but for now we're keeping it simple. Now we're gonna drop in a code node. This code takes a list of items, formats each one into a short tweet using its title and link, trims it to fit within 280 characters, and returns it ready for posting or saving. It's super handy if you're turning RSS content into tweets or just want a clean, summarized format. I'll grab the exact code from the school community. If you are part of the community, you can grab it from there. If not, maybe just screenshot this. In step four, we're going to drop in an AI agent node. This is where the magic happens. We're feeding it the formatted tweets from the previous step, and the AI is going to rewrite them into sharply satirical, comedy writer-worthy tweets. Basically, we're turning dry news into viral-worthy punchlines. Here's the exact system prompt I'm using for this. Feel free to copy it, tweak it, or just roll with it as is. Last step, we're saving the AI's response into Google Sheets. For that, we're going to be mapping the ID field and the post field from the AI response into our Google Sheets. We're going to hit test step and after that we're pretty much done with our workflow. You now have a system that can keep you up to date with news, trending topics, or anything you'd like to be updated in real time. Now guys, if you made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. I am a new channel and I want to start getting into the algorithm so my content can show up to other people and grow the community. This is going to be my third YouTube video and I'll be making more showing you my journey. I'll also be creating and uploading weekly workflows and automations to the community and YouTube. See you guys in my next one.